Today, we upgrade the bat of a K40 laser cutter to a height-adjustable honeycomb bat with scales for aligning the workpiece. The stock bat of the K40 is completely useless and I don't know a single person that would actually use the clamp. So the bat needs to go. As a replacement, I ordered a honeycomb bat also from China for around 30 euros. There will be a link to this product in the description. This honeycomb structure minimizes the reflection of the laser. The issue with this bat is that the steel frame takes up quite some valuable area. As the total area of the bat minus the frame is not big enough to hold a standard piece of paper, the frame has to go. We started to remove part of the frame with a Dremel tool very carefully as we expected the grid to be under tension. After removing the top piece, it got clear that the frame is not necessary for holding the grid together. We cut the frame at a constant height by clamping an angle grinder to the workbench and carefully removing the upper part of the frame. We used the same setup to cut two aluminum angles to the same height. Each angle gets two holes that are tapped for M8 screws. The angles are then clamped to the frame so that we can bore holes through the frame and the angle at the same time. Pop rivets connect the angle and the frame. The angles were a bit too wide, so we had to cut them to size and redrill the holes. The bat sits on four machine screws that allow for a simple height adjustment. On the 3D printer, we printed four shoes for the machine screw hats. We next move the bat to a position that the zero zero point is roughly in the right place. Hot glue secures the feet in place. With these registration marks in place, the bat will be placed in the same position every time and we can install rulers for the alignment of the workpiece. The layout of the rulers is created in Inkscape with an extension that is designed to create all kinds of scales. With a few adjustments, the scales can be engraved. As material, we use thin aluminium flat stock from the home center. The aluminium got spray painted black. We cut the shape of the aluminium piece out of cardboard so that we have a precise spot where to place the workpiece. The laser cutter engraves the scales in the paint. Next, we hot glue 3D printed supports at the sides of the frame and secure a larger piece of cardboard on the bed. The cardboard is cut along the two axes at the zero point. Using the cardboard for alignment, we put the rulers in place. With the new bed, the air assist and the initial safety improvements, the laser cutter is now much more useful. If you consider getting a laser cutter yourself, have a look at my other videos, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for a look at future projects.